once again another paint project um, from 1986 this is an 86 uh, Z28 uh, thanks again for watching uh, my videos and I'm gonna show you the difference between a um, just like a spray over paint job and then you know for instance Mako this car is painted by Mako or something like that they said Mako it's been in the same family for years so um, you can see the overspray on the gasket that's for the t-top gasket the overspray and I'm gonna show you what happens um, when you don't get down and take all this stuff off because if you don't take it off you can't get the paint or the overspray or whatever to go down inside of the or whatever you're trying to paint um, behind you need to paint behind it if you don't get that paint behind it it won't laminate and it'll just kind of go up to the edge and uh, it'll chip back eventually let me show you we're at the rear of the car this is the part that uh, let me grab it right quick and I'll show you right here uh, that was on for the rear spoiler okay for the quarter panel that was never taken off when it was had a respray and it's only been resprayed once and I think it's a single stage as far as I can tell but you can see where the paint um, starting to chip back you know um, right here there's the actual paint line you can you can feel it they painted up to the edge that's not good as far as longevity um, it'll start to chip back and the paint will actually shrink believe it or not and you'll see a gap between the piece that you painted up against and or you tried to you know paint up against or tape out it'll start to be a gap when it starts to shrink and once it really gets uh, brittle or dry it'll just start to crack and, and uh, delaminate and pop off that's why I like to strip them down and get the bumper covers and everything off of them because if you don't you can't clean that dirt and debris from inside I don't care if you can take a power power washer or whatever you just you can't get it you know all this dirt and uh, debris um, and just imagine you know if you didn't take the tail lights out and you're spraying uh, paint and you know the air pressure and it's going up into those crevices around the tail lights or wherever even though the tail lights are taped out you're still going to pick this trash up and, and it's going to blow a plume of trash out and you're wondering where you're getting your trash at it'll come out around your panels like if you have it taped out here you'll see little specks of trash maybe pop up around those places because it doesn't really actually come out where you're spraying you could be spraying in the center or wherever but it'll create like an air channel and it'll come out wherever you know it has an opening and it, 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 it gets you every time. So uh, you get a cleaner paint job if you take everything down and tape it out and uh, try to do it that way. Because if you don't, like I say, you know, um, you won't have a paint job that's going to last a long time. So when you're spending money um, and if you're a painter, you're trying to convince people to go ahead and do it the right way. Just tell them, you know, um, just what I just told you about it's going to delaminate in the future. And, uh, you know, if you don't take everything off, you just won't be able to warrant it. Because if I don't take everything off the car, I'm, I don't warranty the paintwork over six years. Um, that's about the equivalent of a manufacturer uh, paint warranty. So anyway, um, keep checking back in. Uh, this car is going to be a total... It's gonna look different, man, because uh, we, we're gonna really make it look nice. We're gonna paint inside of the door jams, all around inside the door jams. I might take the doors off. I didn't budget that in this uh, in the quote, but um, I might take the doors off just to give it a really clean, you know, uh, paint job and jam it out and everything. But keep checking back, and uh, thanks for watching.